Hey guys, we are here with another episode of RT Trio. This is our mood board for the month. Mood board number 17. Can you believe it's 17? We've been doing this over a year. Wow. All right, anyway, Bea did this one and I really find the combination of sort of grayish, greeny, neutral tones and some blues and yellows are really interesting. As usual, of course, because I do consider myself primarily a painter, I picked out paint colors. And then, like the rest of you, I'm sure, you have a bin of scrap paper and collage things because we do do mixed media that seem to just never get put away. So despite the fact that I have a growing bits bank full of scraps and teeny tiny bits and paper and I went to the basket and pulled things out of the basket. They need to be put away or used up anyway. So I thought we'd do a combination of paint, maybe some ink, papers. <clears throat> I've got found some die cuts. I found some tissue, pattern paper, and these two little packs of botanical stickers and things. So I don't know where we're going. As usual, I have absolutely no plan. We are going to start off with gluing this over here so I have it handy and I don't lose it. Then we're gonna get started uh, doing something I think on this black background and using the black as one of, our, of the paper as one of our colors. So let me fast forward through my process and we'll see where we get and I'll be back.
Okay, <clears throat> as usual, I made my notes on this side. I had no plan, as I told you at the beginning of the video. Um, I thought this was gonna go somewhere else and it didn't, and this is what came out. Is it my best work? Eh, but I do like what happened. Um, so it's pretty interesting. And it was fun to play with the paint and the collage and the pens and the ink and those things that don't get out nearly often enough. Anyway, I'd love to see you experiment with this month's mood board and I'd love to see the unexpected places that it takes you. If you decide to do that, I would love to have you tag me in the post or the video. Um, the best place to do that is in the Artsy Trio Facebook group, uh, the link for which is in the video description, along with the other two videos from my other two teachers, Mike Deacon and Bea Grob. And um, let's see what they did with it this month. Um, I'm sure it looks nothing like mine. It usually doesn't. My videos with the mood boards usually go off into left field somewhere. This one did too. I mean, again, I like it, but I didn't, yeah. Not sure where she came from, but okay. All right, that's it for this week. I hope that you guys get something interesting out of this, that it gives you the freedom um, to experiment and just go with it. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Just close the book and put it on the shelf and you're good to go. On to the next one. That's it for right now. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. If you do create something and you do just decide to take my advice and go with the flow and see where it takes you, again, I'd love to have you tag me in the post um, over in the RT Trio Facebook group. If you make a video on it, do let me know that you do that. I will go watch it. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.